Goods and Services is a really carefully curated catalogue and so within that groupings kind of start to appear, similar stylistic works and themes. Two of these artists are Tony De La Tour and Shane Cotton who were part of a group known as the Pencil Case Painters. This group emerged in the 90s in Canterbury and they were known for their doodle-like imagery that sort of spread out across the canvas in a way that you might across a textbook at school. This work has the large Nike swoosh in the centre. It is created from small topographical rendered islands. It's a comment on how society is obsessed with consumerism and you know everything perhaps becomes a product, even these islands. The Shane Cotton work here is called In the Shadow and it combines both Māori and Pākehā symbols in a way that refers to the artist's personal identity but also perhaps the wider identity of Aotearoa as a whole. The figures in the centre are kind of reference a pole whenua, while the red shape of a cross is perhaps more sort of Christianity. Roger Mortimer's work also deals with sort of map-like imagery. This painting is called Dilemma Hill and it's named after a place in Wellington Harbour. What Mortimer has done is sort of inserted these sort of fantastical figures of angels and other strange objects that give the whole work kind of a new meaning. Matt Hunt and Brendan Wilkinson are the final two artists who also kind of combine the real with the imagined. They kind of create these worlds that are both familiar but also somewhat unsettling and strange. Like the other artists, they sort of combine these different signs and symbols in a way that creates a visual identity that is obviously personal to the artist, but perhaps makes us think about what it means to us and our own identity. And it's something that all these artists do really well.